What? What's happening? Finir? Oh, no, not unless Halfton sent you. I sent myself. I want to speak with Finir, the steward who should be working to put a king on that throne. Oh, you're in luck then, for I have found the man already. I'm only waiting on him to get married. Which man? Oh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attack my clan. I want to know why, and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. Who wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity? But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. You just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings. 
but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So, what happened here, Oswald? A clan, led by a Dane called Ruid, attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Hafton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. A smoke ahead. That's Beatley. Could the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich? Stay here. Big-faced cards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. Ruid's clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm... Just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Healthy seeming town, as Oswald has done well for himself.
Oswald! Where's this dinner you promised me? Eivor! You came! Dinner will still be served, but I'm afraid you are too early. My intended and her family are not ready. This intended of yours, Oswald. Who is she? One of love? Or politics? Her name is Valdis. And people don't marry for love these days, Eivor. This is an arrangement for East Anglia's benefit. She's from a Dane family whose military might is not to be trifled with. But her brothers, their motives are selfish. Why don't you ever look around and come back later? Dinner will not disappoint. Look there. Alone, Dane. Can't trust that. Just be kind, yeah? That's Christ, I command.
Ravalos. This land bears deep affliction. Some coins have been taken from me. Green footprints. Could be a child. What's this? There's something odd going on in these woods. Within an eternal twilight. You live here. Where are your parents? Questions, questions. Those can wait. Let's go out first. Welcome to St. Martin's Land, weary traveler. So, what can we go for strong? I thought we got away, sis. Your hands and feet are swift, children, but your stealth needs work. Ah, oh, we were close. We will give you what we took, traveler. But first, you must listen to our story. <clears throat> Once, a long, long time ago, in a far away land, there was a sister. And a brother. I was getting there. But yes, and a brother. They lived happily in the land of St. Martin, all by themselves, with delicious beans. Lots and lots of beans, and cake! But now, life is harder. There are no more beans or cake, and we have to take what is not ours. We're not bad children, just hungry. Sorry, Large Walker. There's no shame in surviving. And there's nothing you should not do for family. You're wise, Large Walker. Here, take my silver. You were going to anyway. Buy what you need. Only steal if you cannot afford it. Thank you. But I do not think we deserve this. You don't deserve to live this way either. Spend the silver wisely. Here, large walker. A necklace? Yes, it's a St. Martin seal. You're welcome here anytime, large walker. You're one of us now. Visit us, okay? I will. Take care now, small green walkers. Thanks for playing with us, large walker. This would be nice to have some cake, sister. Så att effektbrödet stänger dessa och blandar dem 
vi leier ut. Da har vi vært krokker og vært sterkere i. Hva er min digeras efter av sidier? Sends a twisted Seda on the air. An unjust fate has befallen this one. A poor victim of someone's fury. For yours, unless you tempt me. Liar, liar, liar! You will join them, all the unkind dead. Now I open the scars of my heart. Seda, you sing troll. Breathe deeply. Watch as I become smoke, and listen as I break your bones. Raise a glass in Odin's hall. Another war. <laughs> This possible. Just fate has befallen this one.
Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Been here, our steward, to our guests of honor, both here and bro dear, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that the is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty arse. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back the Thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, wolf kissed? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than uh, this one. It'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolf Kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Do you stop this? You heard me. That's it! Limp, weak, soft. That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. <sighs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. Soon him. Clear the mess in the longhouse and wake my brothers with the coldest water you can find. Good to see you. Sure, 
You never know when this might come in handy. Finish looking around. I have to go. See you soon. Ah, good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the moo of a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, steward Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed a dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir the hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Uh, a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. Oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur... You'll be raven flock food, but your brain's soaked in mead, and your head's made of wood. Wood, head's made of wood. Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This was wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Hit him back and make it personal. Attack his mother. When you crawl from the womb, you are ugly and lame. Your poor mother, she fainted away from the shame. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well tamed words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finnir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. As a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. 
Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> it's too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finia wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is... That said, I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. Water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. Are you ready for the home game? I hope so. I just need to prepare. I'll meet you at the island. with care. <gasps> Done. You've still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I've never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed? Just do your best, I'll be fine. We'll forge your king out of you yet. Ah! Oh, was that too hard? It was a good strike. Keep going. Don't hold back. Do what I you need. felt that one. I'm still here. Hard to believe ah. this one was very baldest. Don't you think? <laughs> I'll battle you. I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon! Come now! Inspire <laughs> us, King! It's a fight you seek. <laughs> You'll never be King at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll... I'll prove it! Come on, fight! <laughs> Finish this, Eivor! It pains me much!
Eivor is the victor. But you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will... I will not stay down! You fought bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have, even if you have to get dirty, even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules, not if you answer challenge head-on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. We dress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Eivor, I expect your long 